Tragic news from the world of pro football as legendary linebacker Sam Huff, H-U-F-F, passed away. Sam Huff was known as a tough linebacker for the New York Giants, especially, and with the Giants on a bye week this week, Giants fans will be able to grieve in a better sense. He's a member of both the College Football and Pro Football Hall of Fame. College football, he went to West Virginia, where he majored in physical education. He was a guard that attacked on and then decided to play linebacker. Sam Huff was actually selected in the third round of the 1956 NFL draft by the Giants. Training camp wasn't good for Huff as he he didn't know what position to take. He was leaving camp, but was stopped by offensive coach Vince Lombardi, who coaxed him back to camp. And then defensive coordinator Tom Landry came up with a 4-3 defensive scheme that would fit up perfectly. So the Giants decided to switch him from offensive line to middle linebacker. And Huff knew he could keep his head up and use his peripheral vision to see the whole field. Huff started his career in October 1956 and helped the Giants win five consecutive games and win the 1956 NFL title. Sam Huff played in the greatest game ever played, as they say, in 1958 against the DeMarc Colts. Unfortunately, though, the Giants wouldn't lose in overtime. However, Sam Huff was actually the subject of a CBS TV special called The Violet World of Sam Huff. And Huff was wide for sound and practice in an exhibition game. Huff would be an integral part of the Giants, getting them to the NFL championship in 61, June 63. Sadly, though, they couldn't win. Allie Sherman, who was GM, decided to trade away many defensive players. However, Sherman would trade Huff to Washington for a couple of nobodies, in a sense. It made front page news in New York, and Giants fans were peeved. Huff would play for the Washington Redskins for five seasons, and he had a consecutive game streak of 150, which is amazing. Huff would help his skins take care of the New York Giants, 72-41 in 1966, in the highest scoring game in NFL history. Huff retired after the 69th season and actually coached the the Redskins linebackers in 1970 following Lombardi's death from colon cancer. Huff would be vice president of sports marketing for the Marriott Corporation, rising up from salesmen. Before retiring in 1998. And Huff was responsible for selling rooms for NFL players. Huff would be a color commentator for the Giants radio team for a few years. And then he went over to the Redskins radio network where he was for many years. Calling games alongside Frank Herzog and Larry Michael from 1979 to 2012. Huff would be inducted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1982, and also to the College Hall of Fame, too. West Virginia in 2005 retired to 75.